You understand English so much better with subtitles, but do you feel lost without them? Well, you're not alone. In today's video, we're diving deep into why you struggle without subtitles and, most importantly, how to overcome this challenge. Stick around because by the end of this, you'll have the keys to unlock your English skills like never before. I'm teacher Brittany. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, let's begin. Let's start by talking about a big question. Why is it hard to understand when subtitles go away? It's kind of like losing a special tool that helps us understand English easily, but don't worry, we'll figure it out together. Throughout this video, we're not just going to talk about the problem, no. We are diving into the solutions, giving you the tools you need to overcome this once and for all. Six reasons why you struggle without subtitles. You're not familiar with spoken English features. Spoken English is very different from textbook English. It involves more than just knowing vocabulary and grammar. Let's take a look at some common spoken English features that might make it difficult for you to follow conversations without subtitles. What is a contraction? Contractions are shortened forms of words and phrases in English that are used mostly in spoken English and some informal writing like text, emails, and on social media. Contractions happen when we change or drop a sound. People normally use contractions when speaking fast and casually, for example, with your friends. I wanna go out tonight. Wanna is the contraction of want to. I wanna stay. I wanna stay. I don't wanna go home. I don't wanna go home. I have to go. Have to. Have to is the contraction for have to. I have to go. I have to go. I have to know. I have to know. I'm gonna buy a new car. Gonna. Gonna is the contraction for going to. I'm gonna get some air. I'm gonna get some air. I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna get going. Reducing common words. It's really common in spoken English to reduce some pronouns, such as him, her, or them, or some other common words like you, for, and to. People use these to speak faster in everyday conversation. Do you like it? Do you like it? You is reduced to yeah, yeah. Will you come home with me? Will you come home with me? What do you know? What do you know? What you doing? What you doing? What are you is reduced to whatcha? Whatcha? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you doing, huh? What you doing, huh? That's for you. That's for you. For is reduced to fur. Or sometimes people might say fu. That's exciting for you guys. That's exciting for you guys. This is for you. This is for you. Okay, next we have cutting out words. Native speakers often cut out or don't say some words in casual situations. It's conversational and natural English. For English questions, they can cut out auxiliaries or to be verbs to make questions shorter. This also happens with some common expressions in spoken English, but mostly used in informal situations with people that we know well. You ready is equal to are you ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? See ya is equal to see you later. See ya! 
See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. Night is the same as saying good night. For example, night, Marty. <laughs> night, Marty. Night, Marty. Here are some examples of shortening words. Congratulations becomes congrats. 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 Congrats, Tom. Congrats, Tom. Brother becomes bro. Bro. I love you, bro. I love you, bro. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Thank you becomes thanks. Thanks for Snowberry. Thanks for Snowberry. Thanks. Thanks. Using linking and connecting speech. In spoken English, people don't say words separately from each other. They link them together in order to speak faster. Linking and connecting the end sound of one word with the beginning sound of the next word helps create smoother speech and to sound more natural. I work in a bookstore. I work in a bookstore. Here we have the linking, work in a, work in a. I work in a bookstore. 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 Next, we have take it easy. Take it easy. We link the words take it easy. Notice it has the d sound. Id. Take it easy. 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 Then we have the emotional struggle, your fear. Subtitles are like having training wheels on your English journey. They give you a boost, helping you to understand better. But just like when you learn to ride a bike, there comes a time to take them off. It might feel shaky at first, but it's all part of getting really good at English. So take on the challenge. Say goodbye to the training wheels. You've got this. Now that we've uncovered the reasons behind your subtitle struggles, let's talk about solutions. The importance of practicing listening skills. First up, it's time to flex those listening muscles. Just like hitting the gym to build strength, practicing your listening skills is crucial for language mastery. So listen to those English podcasts. Watch some Netflix without the subtitles and get ready to level up. Balancing study time between various language skills. Next, let's talk about balance. No, not standing on one foot <laughs> kind of balance. I'm talking about balancing your study time between reading, writing, speaking, and listening. It's like maintaining a healthy diet for your brain. Afraid of making mistakes and embarrassing yourself when speaking? I get it, but here's the thing. Making mistakes is part of the learning process. Embrace them, learn from them, and watch as your confidence goes up. And there you have it. We've uncovered the reasons behind your subtitle struggles and provided you with some tools to overcome them. Now it's time to go ahead and practice your listening skills. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more language learning tips and tricks. And hey, I want to hear from you. What's your biggest struggle when it comes to understanding English without the subtitles? Drop a comment down below and let's tackle it together. Stay tuned and until next time, happy learning.